published 1048 EDT, the 6th of April 2018. Updated 1619 EDT, the 6th of April 2018. MMA fighter Conor McGregor is expected to be granted bail of $50,000 and will be allowed to retain his passport while facing charges in a rampage that left several injured. Bail was set for McGregor at a court hearing in Brooklyn on Friday afternoon. The Ireland native will be allowed to travel while free on bail but is due back in court on June 14th. McGregor's net worth has been estimated at $85 million. Earlier Friday, detectives led McGregor in handcuffs out of the 78th precinct on Friday morning and loaded him into the back of a dark sedan waiting outside. He said nothing as the press shouted questions. After spending the night in lockup, McGregor was wearing white sneakers, jeans and a dark blue polo shirt buttoned to the top button. Police booking records listed him at £155. The exact weigh-in limit for the UFC lightweight division whose championship belt McGregor has vacated by failing to fight for 18 months. The winner of Saturday's UFC 223 main event at Barclays Center was set to take the belt, but that bout was scratched when one contender failed to make way in, and three preliminary fights were cancelled over the fallout from McGregor's rampage in the arena during media day. McGregor is charged with one count of felony criminal mischief and three counts of assault following the rampage on Thursday. The New York Police Department said. The 29-year-old turned himself into police on Thursday evening. McGregor, second from right, confers with his lawyers during a bail hearing on Friday. His friend and co-defendant Kian Cowley, standing left, was also granted bail of $25,000. During the hearing McGregor listens during the court proceedings, during which the judge granted him bail of $50,000. Detectives led McGregor in handcuffs out of the 78th precinct on Friday morning after spending the night in lockup. McGregor was wearing jeans and a dark blue polo shirt. McGregor said nothing as the press shouted questions about his rampage at Barclays Center. Detectives escorted a somber-faced McGregor down the steps of the 78th precinct. An unmarked black Ford Taurus sedan was waiting to whisk McGregor off to his court date. The MMA superstar tried to put on a brave face as he was led outside in handcuffs. McGregor faces a felony count of criminal mischief and three counts of assault. McGregor's arrest mugshot appears on this prisoner transfer slip as he was moved from holding to a court date on Friday police said 25-year-old Kian Cowley, McGregor's friend and fellow MMA fighter from Dublin, was also charged with assault. McGregor is not an American citizen and thus could be denied future entry into the country if convicted of the charges. The incident, which led to some injuries and the cancellation of several fights, unfolded on Thursday as the UFC held a press conference for Saturday's fight card at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. McGregor and his entourage entered through a side entrance and attacked a van containing a group of other fighters. Lightweight Khabib Nurmagomedov was in the van and may have been the target of the McGregor's rage. The 29-year-old Russian recently had a public confrontation with Artem Lobov, a friend and training partner of McGregor's who was scratched from his own fight on Saturday because of his involvement in Thursday's incident. The footage shows McGregor approaching the bus as it inched towards the truck elevators to exit the building. At one point he can be seen running for a dolly before picking it up and throwing it at the moving vehicle, breaking a window through which passengers can be seen. A car arrives with McGregor at Brooklyn Court on Friday. McGregor was charged with assault and criminal mischief mixed martial arts fighter Kian Cowley, a friend of McGregor, was also arrested in the incident and led out of the 78th precinct in handcuffs on Friday morning. Conor McGregor is seen in new footage at a UFC 223. Three media day at Barclays Center in Brooklyn the dolly hits the window, which smashes, sending glass flying over the passengers inside the incident took place at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. 
Ahead of Saturday's UFC 223 McGregor was held at the 78th precinct, which sits across the street from Barclays Center approximately 20 guys were apparently let in through the doors by the MacLife guys, who were credentialed here, UFC President Dana White explained, referencing McGregor's brand and its employees who allegedly helped the Dublin native and his crew enter Barclays Center. They opened the doors for them, through an entrance. They stormed the building, got down to the loading docks where the fighters were getting on the buses and started to attack the buses, throwing trash cans and dollies and things like that. White continued, broke one of the windows and cut Michael Chiesa real bad. He cut his head and cut his face. UFC fighter, Rose Mama Yunus was apparently almost hit. She's super upset right now. Hurt one of our employees. Broke one of our employees' knuckles. Footage from the scene shows McGregor attempting to hurl a guard rail through the window of the van full of fighters before being prevented by security. The Dubliner can then be seen trying to do the same with a trash can before being thwarted once again. Conor McGregor and his team crashed the UFC 223 media day at Barclays Center looking for Khabib Nurmagomedov, who is slated to fight Max Holloway on Saturday after failing to find Khabib Nurmagomedov on the main concourse. McGregor went downstairs to the event level, where the MMA fighter was boarding a van at the truck elevator. McGregor attempted to grab a guardrail and use it to smash the bus before he was restrained. The confrontation led to several injuries and the cancellation of three of Saturday's scheduled bouts. Lightweight Michael Chiesa suffered a laceration to his face and, as a result, was forced to pull from Saturday's event, the UFC announced Thursday evening. Chiesa tweeted to say the New York State Athletic Commission had decided to remove him from his bout against Anthony Pettis, addressing his opponent. The 30-year-old Colorado native said, I'm devastated to say the least. At Showtime Petties I hope to run this match up ASAP, June 9th in your backyard. That's all I have to say for now. Much love. Flyway Trey Borg was also scratched ahead of his bout with Brandon Moreno due to multiple corneal abrasions, the UFC said in a statement. And because the featherweight Lobov was involved in instigating the fracas, his bout with Alex Kofferes was also cancelled. Making matters worse for the UFC, Max Holloway was not medically cleared to fight Noam Agomedov in the main event. Now another fighter will be needed to step in on extremely short notice or the main event will be cancelled. Chiesa wrote the New York State Athletic Commission scratched him from Saturday's fight Rose Nama Yunus, left, was on the bus and left shaken after the attack while Michael Chiesa was left with a laceration to his face after a chair was thrown through one of the van's windows police and DMS were called to the scene according to White who described the event as their most disgusting thing that ever happened in the history of the UFC. McGregor was scheduled to lose his UFC lightweight belt on Saturday to the winner of the title bout between Max Holloway and Nurmagomedov, a contest that is now up in the air because Holloway was not medically cleared to fight Saturday. I am laughing inside. You, McGregor, broke window? Why? Come inside. If you real gangster why don't you come inside? This is big history gangster place. Brooklyn. You want to talk to me? Send me location. I am going to come. No problem. White previously ruled that McGregor, the first UFC fighter to hold two world titles simultaneously, would have to forfeit the lightweight belt to whomever won that fight because the Irishman has not participated in a UFC event since 2016, nearly a year before his doomed boxing debut against Floyd Mayweather Jr. In August of 2017. McGregor gave a clumsy reaction to White's decision on Twitter, you'll strip me of nothing you do nothing see. MMA reporter Ariel Helwani caught up with Nurmagomedov, who said that he is laughing inside. You broke window? He asked rhetorically, why? Come inside. If you real gangster why don't you come inside? This is big history gangster place. Brooklyn. You want to talk to me? Send me location. I am going to come. No problem. Pick.twitter.com slash df6chkla. Brett Okamoto.
at Boca Motoisp. April 5, 2018 Khabib Nurmagomedov was reportedly the target of Conor McGregor's agitation on Thursday. Nurmagomedov, a front-runner to be McGregor's next opponent, had a run-in with Artem Lobov, pictured, earlier this week, threatening him if he ever spoke his name again. Lobov is a friend and training partner of McGregor's and it's likely that the incident was a response to this McGregor took issue with being stripped of his belt by White and the UFC Nurmagomedov, a front-runner to B. McGregor's next opponent, had a run-in with Lobov earlier this week, threatening him if he ever spoke his name again. Never say my name, Nurmagomedov said in a clip that was later posted to YouTube. You got me? I didn't hear you, mother f. Lobov is a long-time friend and training partner of McGregor's and it is likely Thursday's incident was a response to this altercation. He has been pulled from UFC 223 as a result of the incident. Artem was, in the group of people involved, White said, Artem's off the card. That fight's not happening. The winner of Saturday's bout seemed likely to be among the top contenders for the next big money fight with McGregor, although all of that appears up in the air now. White previously said McGregor, UFC's biggest box office attraction, would fight this year. Now, though, White says he doesn't want anything to do with McGregor. Right now, absolutely not, White said, as quoted by ESPN. Do you want to be in business with Conor McGregor right now? Do you want to chase this guy for interviews and buy his fights? I don't think anybody is going to want to right now. I don't know if he's on drugs or what his deal is, but to come and do this and act like this, you're talking about a guy who has a baby. He just had a kid. Nurmagomedov was the only fighter in New York who skipped the open workout and instead turned the session into a QA day with fans. He tossed t shirts to fans asking the best questions and posed for a selfie with a kid in a paper cup. One fan shouted if he would call out McGregor after the fight. We're going to make him a little bit humble, Nurmagomedov said. Nurmagomedov, a front runner to be McGregor's next opponent had a run-in with Artem Lobov earlier this week, threatening the Irishman's friend and training partner if he ever spoke his name again. Never say my name, Nurmagomedov said in a clip that was later posted to YouTube. You got me? I didn't hear you. Mother F. Conor McGregor makes his entrance before his fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr. In August 2017 Conor McGregor is known for his controversial, bragging persona in and out of the ring, which draws record numbers of viewers to his fights. The 29-year-old ultimate fighting champion was born in Dublin, Ireland, and began his mixed martial arts career at age 18 in an amateur match for the Irish Ring of Truth in his hometown. He soon went professional and debuted in the MMA in 2009, collecting wins both as a lightweight and a featherweight. McGregor is the first European MMA fighter to hold titles from two divisions, featherweight and lightweight, simultaneously. In 2013, after being swarmed by requests to sign McGregor to the UFC during a trip to Ireland, the organization's president Dana White complied and the fighter became the second ever Irishman to compete for the organization. McGregor has said that he collected a $200 check from Ireland's welfare state just one week before his UFC debut, when he was working as a plumber. He drew the biggest pay-per-view audience for an MMA fight ever when he fought Nate Diaz at UFC 202 in 2016 and defeated him. For that fight he earned $1 million, becoming the first UFC fighter to get a seven-figure payday. That year he became the first MMA fighter ever to be included on Forbes' list of highest paid athletes. In 2017 he announced he would go on hiatus from the UFC after winning the lightweight championship. McGregor went on hiatus while undefeated as the lightweight champion but had already lost his featherweight championship. However White has ruled that he has to forfeit his lightweight championship belt because he has not participated in a UFC event since 2016. The Irishman's most recent fight was in a boxing ring. In August of 2017 he was paid a reported $30 million to fight undefeated boxing legend Floyd Mayweather Jr. 
in a much anticipated, yet ultimately uncompetitive match that he lost on the 10th round, McGregor has been in a relationship with Dee Devlin since 2008 and they share a child, Conor McGregor Jr. who was born in May of 2017.